And we are out here uh, to show the community some support um, in lieu of everything that has taken place in our community over the past week. We want to make sure that, um, that we come out to the community, show some support, show them that we are here with them in solidarity. We understand we're hurting as well. Finding a pathway to peace after a deadly mass shooting in Rochester. Tonight, police are still looking for this man. He was at the deadly mass shooting in Maplewood Park Sunday with a gun. So far, no arrests have been made. New at 11, News 10 NBC's Marsha Augustin went to a Pathways to Peace community barbecue on the city's east side. Marsha, Sunday's mass shooting was also at a barbecue. So how are people feeling about safety in our mm -hmm. city? Nikki, Brett, kids and families were out having a good time, enjoying themselves this evening. A mother that I spoke with says she did not have any safety concerns being at this barbecue. After shots rang out at a community barbecue at Maplewood Park on Sunday, where seven people were shot, two of them killed. Pathways to Peace had plans that started in April to hold a series of summer barbecues for the community. One neighbor I spoke with says, she was saddened to hear about the shooting, but it's not going to stop her from coming out to events like these. I didn't have no second thoughts about coming here because I seen Pathways to Peace on the flyer, and then when I walked up, I seen Snug, and I seen some organizations from Teen Empowerment, so I felt so comfortable. Many came out to enjoy the free food, free haircuts, and sign up to be a part of a book registry. Organizers with Pathway to Peace say it's about meeting the community in their neighborhoods. They say the turnout is what they expected and happy that dozens of people came out. We pretty much have a consistent turnout every area that we go to. We're always in different areas, um, Flint and Jefferson and OK Park, um, the Hudson Avenue area. Uh, we'll be Joseph uh, Upper Falls area next week. So um, the turnout is usually good. Master Glover was at the community barbecue event at Maplewood Park during the shooting on Sunday. He lost one of his dear friends. I mean, it definitely triggered something. Like, I just like, I ain't really been getting too much sleep, but it definitely triggered something because I sat there and watched a person that I care about die. Assembly member Harry Bronson, who represents the 138th district where today's barbecue was held, says the senseless violence and killings need to stop, and it starts with the community uniting. You had no second thought about coming here today? Not it's been at all. less than a week since that match. No today. second thoughts. You know, this is my community. We need to be supportive of each other. Um, we need to take the steps to make sure that we stay safe. The next Pathway to Peace barbecue will be held on Wednesday, August 7th at the corner of Flint Street and Jefferson Avenue. In Rochester, Marsha Gustin, News 10, NBC. And Marsha, will there be any more Peace barbecues this summer? Yes, there will be. The next one will be, not the next one, sorry, the next one is August 7th, but after that, there's still two more being held on Wednesday, excuse me, August 15th and August 30th. That's August 15th and August 30th. All right, very good. Marsha, thank you.